Okay guys, so by the picture you saw in the beginning, I'm doing a makeup tutorial for Hellcats. So I've done Marty. She is the main character, or I guess one of the main characters in the show. I've curled my hair, let my hair go natural, and just added some curl. I realize hers is longer and blonde, but you know, work with what you got. So I've just curled it, let it down a little loose. fancy circle they have on it. I've got my eyes done. Give a little closer look on that. And I honestly think it's like spot on to what they had. I... And then I have the nice nude lips, so. Off pink cheeks. And I hope you guys can see the sparkle because I'm now encased in sparkle. So anyway, yeah. I've done the looks, the gold, their first competition to get into regionals. I've done that look for Halloween. I've used all drugstore products. So you guys will be able to get your hands on them as well. It. And if you'd like to see how I got this look and all of the super accessible products that I use to get it, just keep watching. So I've already moisturized my face, primed, as well as put on my foundation. So we're going to move right onto the eyes. So for starters, we're going to use my favorite Annabelle Mono Eyeshads in Vanilla Chilla just to go all over the eyelid. And to do that, we're going to be using the Eco Tools Travel I set to go. So we're going to put this color, my eyelids have also already been primed. So you're going to put this color from your eyelash line right up to your eyebrows. For that we're going to be using Annabelle Mono Eyeshadow in Gold Digger. And it's a great golden shade and you can get it at any shop or just drug mart. You're going to be using the same brush as you did the and you're going to make this just to go from your lash line up to the crease and that's it for starters. So we'll get this on the eye. So you're just putting that on, make sure to get it in the tear duct and just keep it below the crease. Okay, from the same eyeshadow kit, you're going to take the small precision brush, which looks like this. Just a small little one, same thing using the gold digger and you're just going to get your little tear duct area. And make sure you get the little nook in your eye, that's generally where it's darkest and that's kind of what makes your under eye circles look darker is when right in here is dark. Okay, once you have that done we're going to move on to another Annabelle eyeshadow and it is the monoquad as well and it's so foxy. It's this nice brown color. Use this color all the time. Now this isn't going to end up being the color that's going to show. It's going to be kind of the base so color. We're going to take the same precision brush. Just, it's okay if there's some sparkles. Get into it. I'm going to take the So Foxy and you're going to define your crease. And you want to carry that all the way over but don't go down to where your eye actually follows. You kind of want to take it out straight and then kind of hook it around to where you had that eyeshadow. Okay, you actually don't want to take the eyeshadow directly down. I probably didn't say that very good. You kind of want to go straight across as well and go out kind of on an angle. You don't want to follow your socket exactly. You kind of want to, you're going to basically be exaggerating where your eye is. Next, we're going to take an e.l.f eye brightening eye color in drama. You can buy this at Sellers. Actually at Sellers we're going to take this light color here to start using the same brush. Just going to take the light color and put it well I guess kind of everywhere where you put the brown. We just want to concentrate on the the actual edges of where the brown was before. So just make, get the brown covered and you want it to kind of fade away into the inside of your eye. So don't concentrate too much in the inside. Concentrate on the top and then whatever's left over on your brush, just kind of bring it in and we'll buff it all out. Once you've got that where you want it, you're going to take a fluffy angle brush from the same eyes to go kit that you can get at Superstore and you're going to take the same light color Hold the brush at an angle and this is just going to allow it to go up a little bit higher. Don't be afraid of going up too high with this eye look. On the Hellcats it's dramatic. So that's what we're going for and it's Halloween so 
any cheerleading look you can do this with and just change your colors up. Just make sure you can bring it up fairly high. The width of this brush when you hold it this way is actually a pretty good indicator of how high it should go. Now we're going to take the darker color from the e.l.f. palette, the darker gray, and you're going to concentrate this on the outer half of the eye. And it's fairly pigmented so you don't need a whole lot, just take a little bit and just dab it on. And then just kind of start working it in. I'm actually holding the brush upside down like this. Work it in the outside and any excess, bring it over. Okay, now we're going to use highlighter. We're going to use the blending brush from the same Eco Tools Eye to Go kit. We're going to first use the Annabelle Single Eye Quad Mono Quads in Helium. Love this color, I've talked about it a lot before. And you're just going to highlight that under the brow bone because they have some serious serious highlighter going on. Once you have that on as for your base, you're going to go back to your e.l.f. eye brightening color and you're going to take the white. It's really white, so be careful with how much you put on. And this is what's really going to make it pop. And try and concentrate it just here on the outsides. So once you have that done on your eyes, the next step is liquid eyeliner. Now she doesn't have it going from right in here, from the corner, she has it about underneath the bulb of her eyebrow, so that's where we're going to start it. I'm using Maybelline Lash Line Stiletto, it has a nice felt tip applicator. So we're going to start about here, and just get it nice and close to your lash line to start. Now you're kind of going to go to where your eyelashes actually start to come through and that's where your line's going to start. You want to keep the inside part of your eye completely clean. There isn't much of a, um, a flick on the back. There is a little bit so just start up and then just fill sure it in and the inside half clean. So that's what I'm, mine's going to look like. So just do that to the other eye and we'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the eye. So I just loaded on the, the mascara. And I just lightly underlined the under my eye as well. So the final look for your eyes is this. It's a nice, it's really close, I think, personally, to what she has. So I really like it and I hope you guys like it too. So for the rest of the face, it's really easy. There's slight contouring, and I'm using the highlighter contour ball from their Face Travel Kit. And I'm just using the Milani Bl Sunset Duos Bronzer and Blush Kit. And I'm just going to lightly do underneath the hollows of my cheeks. Because they don't have anything too hardcore, but they definitely have highlighter or bronzer, my chin, the sides of my nose. This is a great brush for doing it too, it's awesome. And then just a little bit above your eyebrows. In that same kit there is this face brush, which I love it, it is so soft. And you're just going to use that to blend out the bronzer. So that just gives me a little bit more of a cheekbone look. Camera's showing that off as streaky, but the the mirror says it's good, so I'm gonna go with that. Using the same brush, I'm gonna take my favorite highlighter, which is the Hard Candy Blush Crush in Honeymoon 127. Same brush, cheekbones, middle of the nose. And then your cupid so. Now the blush is very light on her, so I'm going to use NYC Color Wheel in Pink Cheek Glow. I'm going to be using an Eco Tools regular size brush, any blush brush, and I'm just going to keep it 
on the outside of the cheeks and back because their cheeks are fairly light like there's not too much blush to speak of there they have nice soft cheeks for a lip gloss I'm using I'm using Bonnie Bell creme brulee it's a nice nudie because their new lips are very nice in the nude color and I'm just applying it with the applicator so just apply that all over your lips so that's pretty much it for the makeup now the fun part is doing the little the swirl that they have on their cheek and I'm going to use the colored stars kit to start and you can get this at any Walmart or dollar store even and they have it on their left side kind of underneath the corner of their eye and their cheek so I'm just going to have it down fairly well. I'm just going to apply that there. Then I'm going to be taking an Annabelle smudge liner. And the only reason it's a smudge liner is because it's electric or electric sapphire. And it's so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the outline of the star. Oh, I probably was not even in shot. Just trace the star. Now my stars actually come off from tracing, so I'm just have taken it off and I will stick another one back on when I'm done. And it just kind of twirls up into different twirlies, ends up around her eyebrow in a little twirl, so we're just going to do one. And it's just easiest to do it with eyeliner pencil because it's just like you're drawing. So any kind of design you want, they all had different ones, doesn't have to be just that. But in order to make that stick or a small brush, I'm actually going to use the Eco Tools little brush that I used before. And any kind of blue, doesn't matter, this is a bedhead quad palette. I doubt you'll be able to get this, but this is the kind of blue, any sparkly blue in the show. And I'm just going to trace, place that over it to make the liner stick. So just line the whole outline. So I just looked at her picture again, which I totally should have done before I did this, and she actually has one big swirl that comes back down, but Anyway, you can look at the picture and decide how you want to do that. There's also um, some sparkles on her cheeks. So this is a Lola Gold Sparkle Dust. Any, You can even use gold eyeshadow. You could actually just take the eyeshadow that you had used before which you go th and just put that on but the cheeks. Because I have it and it's fun, I'm just going to load up and I'm also going to dab it on here to make this a little bit more sparkly. I'm sparkling. I am just covered in sparkle. <laughs> so guys this is the final look with the curled hair and the eyes and the cheeks and the lips. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want to see more give me some suggestions. I would for sure love to do more of these. They're super fun. I'm really actually super pleased with how this um, one turned out. As yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. I hope you maybe would think about doing this for Halloween. You just have fun and be yourself and go crazy with the makeup. I hope you guys liked it. Enjoy your weekend and see you guys soon. Bye.